Hi guys, um, today's video is mostly about all the empties from past few months or years probably. So let's begin. Let's start with Neutrogen Hydro Boost Water Gel. I had to try this because it is a favorite of many people. Well, I am highly disappointed with this one. I will not purchase this again because I don't like the added colors and the fragrance. The fragrance is a bit strong for me. It has very basic ingredients list and you get very little for the price we are paying. This uh, gel moisturizer also failed to, you know, hydrate the dry patches of my face. Like I have dry skin around my mouth and on my nose. I had to apply something more moisturizing on top of this again and strangely observed that it can get sticky when applied on my damp skin. So yeah, not gonna buy this again. Definitely not worth the price and all the drama. And also my skin doesn't really enjoy it this much along with my nose, I must say. So yeah, not gonna buy this again. Next one is aloe vera cream. This is fragrance free. It is a very thick cream and it just sits heavily on my face. It takes a really long time to get absorbed. Definitely not for daytime use if you are not a dry skin type. I eventually ended up using it on my body. Never going to purchase this again. Next we have Isintri Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Gel Cream. This is a mini version that I tried. This is another cult favorite and uh, it has a gel cream texture and this one was able to hydrate both my oily and dry patches equally in summers and monsoon time. It won't be sufficient for winters for me for sure. It gives dewy look after application and slowly settles down matte and uh, it doesn't have any fragrance at all. I loved it for that. Ingredients are also nice. It has licorice, centella, green tea, aloe vera, etc. It gives a subtle glow and is very soothing and calming for skin. The small sample came a long way for me. The bigger version is definitely going to last a long time as we need a very little amount of it for single time use. And it definitely got a place in my holy grails list and I might repurchase this again. Next one is Dr. Shad's licorice and lactic acid peel. It has 8.8% .8 lactic acid, 2% acinamide licorice extract and calendula extract. It is fragrance free. This has a sticky gel like texture and I didn't like it initially. I was using it on top of moisturizer. I started getting weird bumps and all. Then I realized I might not need a separate moisturizer with this one and started liking it suddenly. I just apply a soothing toner and then go on with this peel and basically call it a night. I never went wrong with this after that. Uh, I use it twice a week. Uh, it is a gentle peel and it gives that soft, subtle glow post exfoliation and skin feels smoother. Uh, I might repurchase this. Moving on, we have Cosrx Oil Free Ultra Moisturizing Lotion with Bitch Slap. <laughs> so, great texture, absorbs instantly. There is no dry patches issue as well with this one. Makes skin smooth, doesn't look oily, greasy, or shiny at all. Best oily skin moisturizer so far. Only issue is the weird jungle bomb smell. It gives me a headache. It has essential oils, lemon peel oil, tea tree oil, and all the smell is a bit bothering. Also, it is not worth the cost. Next, we have Dermaco 10% Niacinamide Serum. Not sure why I even bought this one. Not sure what it did to my skin. Never going to buy again. And we have Bior UV Water Free Essence. It's lightweight sunscreen. The lightest I can say that I have used so far. I usually skip moisturizer with this. Uh, skin becomes supple like when you use a good moisturizer which is hydrating and gel type. This gives the same feeling and same results for me. I use it in summers and monsoon. Skin looks a bit shiny but not greasy. It has some smell and also the product keeps separating. I had to shake it before each use. It is a bit pricey. I want to explore more sunscreens. Uh, for summers I'm currently a fan of um, Rayquil Dry Touch sunscreen as it is waterproof and gives a matte finish. I will probably not repurchase this one, but it is still in on, still on my holy grails list and I'm still thinking. I might end up buying this, I'm not sure, but I do like it, you know, yeah. Next we have Neutrogena Ultra Shield Dry Touch Sunscreen. This is my winter sunscreen. I look for moisturizing sunscreens for winter, mostly cream based. It has fragrance, but it never bothered me. It didn't even feel like it is there. The one issue with this one is it kind of stinks a bit if your skin is irritated for whatever reason i'm still exploring good cream based sunscreens for winter within the same price point but with no bothering fragrance some alternatives that i have tried so far for this one are earth rhythm hybrid sunscreen and the dr shit ceramide and uh, vitamin c sunscreen i think they're better than this one but i'm not sure yet this is still in my to buy list like i'll keep buying it probably have Johnson's baby top to toe bath. 
So usually I prefer gentle gel based cleansers in the morning. So I wanted to give this a try because it is cheaper and more affordable and it comes in 500 ml pump bottle. So I wanted to try it so I got a small version and uh, this didn't feel good for me initially. I didn't like the smell and I didn't really feel it is so gentle as a morning cleanse. Its smell was a bit bothering for me in the first place. So I moved it to the PM routine where I usually wash it off with a second cleanse. So surprisingly this worked for me in the PM routine as a first cleanse and uh, I might end up buying this again and again I guess and uh, yeah so that's it for the empties for now I'll come up next time with some other video keep watching